guys and I have a review on the candy lips for you guys and I'm also gonna do a demo at the same time I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the demo around I'm probably gonna put the demo around here somewhere so you guys can see it in action as well and kind of see the difference between like one minute two minute three minutes and how progressively like you can get your lips to get bigger so I've yet to try this and I will be showing the demo as alongside I just kind of want to do an unboxing for you guys I think that the packaging is super cute this does run for $40 so it is something very high end they did send me two of them so I'm gonna do a demo on this one and let me know if you guys want a review on the other one as well this is the one that kind of creates a little fold on the bottom kind of more plumper second lip on the bottom so I'm gonna go through all of the products and what it looks like so this is the packaging and I think the packaging is really nice and like really high end for what you're paying for they also do sell this in a set for cheaper if you're looking if you're interested in that and if you guys want me to do updates on this because I was thinking of actually doing this as a treatment which they actually suggest um, is doing it like as a two minute treatment every night so once you open the box it does come in a little bag like oh drop the stuff it does come in a little bag like this and this is what it looks like so um, super adorable packaging I feel like it's really high end and this is what it looks like and it does have their logo on the top and this is what it looks like right there. So this is where you put your bottom and your top lip. So it kind of goes ahead and has a drawing on there for you to um, kind of know what you're doing. On the bottom of the box, there is a little user's manual, which is a really good user's manual. I love the fact that it has like everything in here from like the attachments that come with it to the different steps and important tips on how to use it and um, any kind of cute like frequently asked questions I guess. They also kind of show like before and afters on the back of the book so I thought that that was really nice. And it does come with like two little attachments. This one comes with a cushion, mouth cushion. So I guess this is the kind of like help with the um, with the suction, the suction. <laughs> and it also comes with a little um, kind of like stopper. So like if you only want to plump your upper lip, you can cover the other the other spot. Or if you only want to cover like you know what I mean like if you want to do one more than the other you can also use it like that so that's really cool so I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys a little bit about the company itself um, they are something that has been um, approved by dermatologists so I thought that that was really cool about them like it's not something that is just like any company out there you know what I mean like it's actually been approved it's won like 30 prestigious awards worldwide um, and it has clinical trials that says that it will at least keep your lips plump for two hours. So I really like the fact that they're just being full on honest with you guys and be like, you know, this, you know, depending on how long you hold it for and stuff like that, like minimum you're going to get like a two hour wear for the application. So um, it also says that after 60 days of use, twice daily for two minutes each time, um, the participant's lip volume increased by 36%. Um, so I don't know if you guys would want me to do this, but let me know and I will try to do it like twice a day for two minutes and see if like in a month or two like if there's a difference or you guys notice a difference. We'll link them down below just so you guys can have a direct link. It's not a affiliate link. And um, it does say that uh, you have to um, remember that this will give like a cupping mark to most users the first time. So it does have like a cupping mark around your lips because of the suction for the first time that you go through it. So and usually you can cover up with concealer um, but it will go away. It's not a bruise per se. It's just like a mark. So it is something that you can, um, it says that like you can rub it. Some people like um, use a combing method and kind of get it out or concealer so um, if I get that you will definitely see that in the video of the demo okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go into the demo and any additional information any kind of extra information about the the product I'm going to go ahead and write all that information down below for you guys just so that way you guys can um, just so you guys can also see that they also recommend that your lips are completely hydrated obviously you don't want to have lipstick or anything like that on when you're doing this and then afterwards actually you know cover up with the concealer if you get any cupping marks and then um, you can go ahead and do your lipstick and, and etc so I'm gonna go ahead and um, go into the demo and really go into showing you guys the difference from using this so I'm super excited
Okay, first I'm going to show you the first increments. And the reason that I'm pouting my lips is because they tell you to pouch your lips to put it on. And you should be able to hold it without using your hands. So that's how you know you have a good suction on it. So I did do this for one minute, two minute, and then three minute increments just so that you guys could see how big I could get my lips. Um, I You will see the different effects as the more time that I left it on. So here I'm just doing the one minute mark and um, my cupping marks came like a few hours later so I do say that I didn't get any cupping marks but you will start seeing them a little bit during the second and third mark itself. And I did shorten some of the times for you guys because if not it, this would be too long for you guys to just wait. So you just kind of squiggle it out and there is the one minute mark. As you can see it took off quite a bit of my makeup. And then here I am with the second minute mark. And then I went ahead and retouched my makeup after the second one. I think at two minutes I kind of really liked this kind of effect. It gives enough plump. And what I did was take my beauty blender to really fix my makeup. I would definitely suggest if you're going to do this, do this before applying your makeup. Of course, for the purpose of the video, I had already done my vid my makeup because I had recorded other videos as well. So I did go ahead and use a little bit of powder, reapply, and you can start seeing the cupping marks underneath my lip. I couldn't really tell at that moment, but then later as the hours progressed, it got darker and darker. And then here is the three minute mark and I feel like this was just way too exaggerated and I went ahead and fixed my makeup again as well with this one but dang I just could not even believe how huge they look I really didn't like the effect of three minutes I like two minutes just because I felt like almost weird and Bratz doll looking at three minutes so one to two minutes is just fine for smaller lips I think and then if you want really really exaggerated lips then I would definitely say go for three minutes or longer also I'm gonna be applying some lipstick to really show you guys first I'm gonna apply some lip liner and then some lipstick to really show you guys the effects I think this is also a very cool way of kind of uh, seeing what you would look like if you got fillers so it's really kind of made me want just a little bit of lip fillers but I would not want to do like a ton so here I am just applying a little bit of liquid lipstick just to kind of really show you guys what they transformed into you can definitely see there was a huge difference I do feel like my lips are a little bit uneven and so I'm going to try to fix that. So here's a couple of hours, like four to five hours in. You can definitely see the cupping marks getting darker. And it only did last 24 hours, but you can definitely see how big they got and also how dark the cupping marks are. I am going to put down below some um, tips for getting rid of the cupping marks, but you can definitely see how dark my lips got and the marks themselves. Okay, so <laughs> this is the final look with... Three minutes. I think that three minutes is a little bit exaggerated. I kind of let you guys know that in my demo. I think three minutes is way too much for my lips. I think two minutes would be the maximum that I use it. As you can see, they're super, super huge. I feel like almost like a Brad's doll, but it really does what it says it does. So I absolutely am in love with this. Let me know if you guys want to see the one with the um, kind of, it kind of creates like a little indent here in the middle to make your lips look plumper on the bottom. And I will definitely do a demo for this one if you guys want that. This thing is incredible. I can't believe how huge my lips look. Um, hopefully this will die down a little while and then I've, I'm going to try to do the two minutes a day kind of thing and do an update for you guys if you guys would be interested in that but definitely if you're looking for something to really exaggerate and plump your lips and I like the fact that you can control it you know if you can leave it to 30 seconds one minute two minute three minutes so depending on how big you want your lips to get so I think that this is definitely worth the money I know it's super high end but for someone who doesn't want to do lip injections and wants to kind of plump up their lips and maybe do this as a treatment I think that this would be super awesome something very innovative and very different I feel almost weird talking to you guys I keep staring at myself in the mirror only thing is as you saw in the video like it really messed up my makeup so this is something you would do when you don't have a full face of makeup like I do right now like I have really caked on makeup right now so you can definitely see in the video it does take away from makeup so that is something 
that you want to do before doing your makeup so yeah so let me know what you guys think of this what do you guys um, what are your thoughts on it uh, I'd love to hear back from you guys is it something that you guys are willing to try or you're really curious or you're really ready to jump on the bandwagon this thing is seriously so amazing um of course i wouldn't do it like this exaggerated i kind of wanted to do like one minute two minute and three minutes to really show you guys the difference of how big you could get your lips and this is way too big <laughs> for my face but yeah i'd love to hear back from you guys thank you guys as always for watching for subscribing if you're not subscribed definitely hit that little red button and until next time bye guys <laughs>